be helpful for anyone who just has a hard time getting on and off the floor, if you're recovering from a surgery, anything that keeps you in bed, okay? So you can do it on your normal side of the bed. I'm gonna be here at the foot of the bed today. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale all the air out as you bring your arms back down. We're gonna do a few here to start. And this entire routine is just gonna be focused on moving your body, moving your joints, getting some circulation and fluid going in your body, and then really getting into that breath as well. We're not doing anything intense. So intense workouts aren't meant to do in bed necessarily, and that's okay. So what you can get from this is like I said, a lot of movement and just getting all those great fluids moving in your body, okay? On this next one, we're gonna bring your left arm up and as you do, I want you to look towards your left, okay? And then you're gonna bring the arm down and let your head fall more to the right. So left arm up and you're gonna let your head fall and look to the left and then bring it back down as you look to the right. Okay, one more like that. Nice and gentle. So this is a great way to actually get the spine moving. And then we'll do the other side. Right arm up, look to the right. So these are the kind of movements that I was doing very quickly after my own surgeries meaning within a couple days, laying in bed, just to remind my body how it felt to move in a safe way. And then bring that back down. Nice job, I want you to hug the right knee in as you straighten the left leg out. So give it a good squeeze just as far in as you can. And again, this will be different for everyone, depending on where you are right now with your body. But this is important for our joints, this compression, and bringing the leg and the knee in like this can really help with your digestion even, so we're getting some compression in those organs. And now either stay here, or if you're okay in this position, I want you to bring the leg to the left as you look to the right. But again, this is gonna be a little bit more deep of a twist. So don't quite go here right now if you're not ready. And let's come back to center. Hold behind the leg and just gently reach it up and back in. Even if your leg only straightens to here, that is fine, okay? Even if you can't get it very straight at all. Nice job. All right, we're gonna place that leg down and bring the other one up. So I have my legs hip distance apart and bent, and I'm gonna let my left knee fall to the left and then it's gonna come back up to center, and then the right leg is gonna to fall to the right, and then back up to center. So this is called a bent knee fallout, and what we're doing is only letting the leg go as much as nothing else moves. So we're getting some mobility in the hip of the leg that's moving, but then also really working, believe it or not, it's a core exercise. So we're working everything else to try to keep your body still. So you inhale to let the leg fall out. Exhale, bring it back up. Good, we're gonna do one more each side. Nice job. And then I'd like you to find a pillow. We're 
we're going to take the pillow and put it in between your knees. Okay. Now what we're going to do is on an exhale, you're going to squeeze the pillow. So just squeeze it as long as your exhale is. And then you inhale to release. So you exhale and squeeze about 50% effort, okay? You're not squeezing as hard as you possibly can here. Just enough that you should feel those inner thighs working. So it's that nice long exhale with that gentle squeeze. Then you inhale, release. Exhale again. Waking up your inner thighs, which also play a role in your abdominal muscles. And let's do two more. Last one. And release. Nice job. So you're going to put the pillow to the side and then you are going to roll to your side. So I'm rolling onto my left side. You can do either side first. Now you can just have a pillow under your head okay, and lay flat. That's completely fine. And what we're going to do is have the knees bent and then lift one knee and lower. So we're doing a little clamshell here. Sometimes if it's painful to lay on your side, it can be a little more comfortable on the bed, on the really soft surface. And you're only lifting that leg as much as you can that your hip doesn't roll back. So we worked inner thighs with the pillow, and now we're working outer here with our clamshells. Good, two more. Nice job. Take your time rolling to the other side. So you can just roll onto your back and then onto the other side. I'm going to sit up and turn so that I'm still facing you. But you get there however is easiest, okay? No hurry. Take your time moving. You know where we're going. You're just going to lift that knee and lower. So I remember after my own surgeries, one of the biggest things I noticed was just how hard it was to move and change positions. It just took me a lot of extra time. So I know that feeling. <laughs> Last two. And one. Nice job. And then you're going to roll onto your back. One more time. And we're going to end the way we started. You're going to inhale both arms back and exhale arms down. Inhale. One more. Nice job. I hope that helped give you a little bit of energy and give you some ideas of things you can do from the comfort of your bed. I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You can also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full-length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.